Okay, this is a short video on trying to work with QGIS from an external Python application. Um, uh, the information I got was primarily from this website, but notice this says 3.1.6, and the version of QGIS that I have is actually 3.2.3. That may be why I had some of the problems that I did but I couldn't find documentation for the version that I had. So if someone finds it, please let me know. Um, the document was pretty good at getting me started. Um, however, there are some issues. So this is a script that I wrote and the first thing you'll notice is that I um, go here and I add to the Python path. Um, in my project, I have set up a path to the Python executable. Now there's multiple Python executables inside of QGIS and the documentation, documentation tells you to set them up through the Windows path variables. Um, that didn't work. <laughs> so uh, what I found was that if we go into program files, oops, wait, sorry, program files, uh, QGIS, okay. Um, there's a number of Python installs in here. There's one in bins that's just sitting by itself um, in this folder. You'll find a Python executable. Uh, there it is, okay. But notice this doesn't have scripts or anything else in it. So this is not a valid install of Python from my perspective. Um, if we go into apps, you'll then find Python 2.7 and 3.6. If we go into Python 3.6, this looks like a pretty normal Python install. Um, I think everything was fine. There's even GDAL. Um, if we go into libs, there's site packages with a bunch of stuff. But you'll notice there is no QGIS in here. And we need to get to this QGIS uh, library for Python. Now, I found it, um, but it's underneath apps, QGIS, and then Python. So it's not installed where we would normally expect Python libraries to be installed. So to make this work, I went ahead and imported sys, depended on my path. That allowed me to import these QGIS core files. Okay, that worked pretty well. Um, also, you'll notice the tutorials uh, tell you to set the prefix path. This is going to, I think, the QGIS, kind of the same thing to let QGIS know which uh, libraries or bindings that we're using, I think. Then we create a QGIS application. We go ahead and load the providers. Um, and then I was able to load the QGIS application and tried to get its algorithms, but this didn't work. And I don't know why. Um, so yeah, it just skips over that. So it looks like there's nothing in the processing registry. Could be missing something there. Um, I was able to get it to load a vector layer. Here's the, the syntax for that. And again, this is just out of the tutorials. And that appears to have worked, but what I'm doing there is loading a layer into QGIS, which might have value if we're inside writing a tool inside of uh, QGIS, but not really what we're looking for. Now that did allow me to go in and actually pull out um, just one feature. And if we remove that break, let's see if we get all the features. Yep, so I was able to go ahead and access um, really the attributes of um, the layer using this, so some functionality. But what I really wanted to get to is the processing algorithms. And the tutorial said to import from QGIS, import processing. Uh, that could not be found. When I went into here, I don't see a processing library. If we go into QGIS, I still don't see processing. Uh, there is analysis, and this is an init.py. This is to set up uh, the analysis bindings to link to QGIS. But again, I don't see a processing one, so this is kind of where I got stuck. Uh, feel free to, to let me know if you guys find anything else. And like I said, there's looks like there's good documentation here, but you'll notice most of it really is focused around using Python to automate QGIS. Um, either internally or externally. So, have fun.